So hey Sweat Sisters, I'm here with Maya Newton, the PGS captain here at Georgia State, and we're going to get to know her a little bit better. So how has your love for fitness and wellness developed as you got older? How has it developed? Yeah, have you grown to love working out more? I feel like as I've gotten to um, like the collegiate level and like done these classes, it has, I've learned more about it. Yeah. So it hasn't really increased, but I've I've gotten to know more about it. Your knowledge is yeah. yeah. So in a typical week, what is your workout routine like? I know you teach classes and stuff, so what do you do? A typical week? Yeah. Well, yeah, Mondays I have weight training and then practice. So it depends on what I do at practice, I'm not sure. Um, we do a lot of like 200, sometimes I'll do 400. Yeah. And then um, Tuesdays is just practice from 11 to 1. Then Wednesday is my longest day, which is weights, practice, then class. Mm -hmm. I have two classes, cardio class and ab class. So, so it's busy for you. Yeah. Thursday is the same as Tuesdays, um, just practice from 11 to 1. And then Friday is just weights and practice. And you teach workout classes here, like your ab class. So, But what type of workout classes do you enjoy the most? Is there anything particular? Um, yeah, I like ab class the most just because it's, it doesn't require too much and it's something that you can do at home. And when you're on Instagram and social media, are there any influencers that inspire you to keep going along your fitness journey? Um, I think her name is Massey. R. Massey. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to say her name, mm -hmm. but yeah, I really like her. Um, yeah. Nyla Chavez is also somebody that um, inspires me. She doesn't know that, but. <laughs> <laughs> now but, she will. Yeah, now she will. But she, um, she has a really nice body and she used to be on the track team. But she's not anymore. And, like she owns her own gym and stuff like that. So that's really cool. And since you're a part of Pretty Girl Sweat, you've been able to attend so many sweat shows over the course of a couple of years. But what has been the PGS event that stood out to you the most that you loved to, go, to be able to go to? Yeah. So we actually um, well, there's there's a lot. There's so many. I can't really you know pick my finger on oh, uh, one. Yeah. But my favorite, I think, would be the one that we hosted here at Georgia State University. It was in Dahlberg Hall, and we did a pound class. Mm -hmm. But the food was really good. Was it so, the brunch one with yeah, Marissa? Yeah, yeah, that was really cool. And how do you envision the chapter growing here in the coming months, years? <sighs> That's a great question. Um, I feel like it's gonna get a lot better. Um, I feel like our membership is gonna increase. I feel like our marketing is gonna get a lot better um, within the next year. We actually just got like not really a grant, but we got more money, so we're gonna be able to do more things yeah. uh, in the upcoming year. I'm actually gonna be leaving in one year. So, graduation? Yeah, graduation. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. I'm not excited to leave, but I'm glad that I'm able to like put my mark on the campus. Definitely. And my final question is, what advice would you give to other sweat sisters looking to get started with their health and wellness journey? I would say just take it step by step. Don't like think that you want to just jump into like the hardest thing. Take it step by step. So um, wake up and just maybe go for a walk or a run or something. It doesn't have to be like all major, the words. Yeah, yeah. major thing just have to be like gradual. Yeah, okay.